Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Real United States video blog. I'm your host Paul Campbell and as always behind the camera is my camera operator and wife Beverly Campbell. And we're here in our studio, also our office, and it's pretty cold outside. It's uh, about 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. So we've decided to do some work uh, inside in the studio. One of the things that we've decided to try and experiment with is a DIY green screen. And we're actually going to make this a permanent part of the studio. We're going to paint the wall a chroma green. Now, I couldn't color match the chroma green from our green screen. Uh, the machine just went nuts and wouldn't find a color formula. So we found the closest color chip to it in the paint that we had available to us. Now, you're going to find a lot of DIY uh, episodes out there about making uh, chroma green screens. For your studio if you want to do chroma key green screen effects uh, we chose to go with Pittsburgh paints and the color for this one is let me see green pear so the we're gonna see how this works in uh, in some future episodes whether this chroma is out this keys out correctly and bear uh, brand paints which is uh, sold by another uh, distributor throughout the United States has a color that I saw in another DIY film on chroma chroma key uh, it's sparkling apple is bears color Sherwin Williams can also custom color mix a chroma green for you if you live uh, near a Sherwin Williams outlet and uh, I'll try and put the color combination codes down in the description that I found on yet another DIY chroma screen. So you're going to find a lot of these out here. We're going to see how this color works when we go to key this out and hopefully we can do some studio work and do a little more for you than what we've been doing in the past. So now we're going to start to tape out and paint the room and we're going to see how much of that we can share with you. So first thing I got to do is tape out because we're going to leave a little border around the edge. So we got some painter's tape and we're going to tape out all the way around on this wall and then paint it. How wide is the painter's tape we're using? It's that wide. Okay. It's two inches wide. We're using two inch wide painter's tape. That'll give us a nice little white border all the way around just as an accent so that we can live with the wall when we're not using it as a chroma screen. And of course they don't make the end of this too easy to find.
Now I'm using a quarter inch nap roller, which is about the shortest you can buy. And because we've got a very smooth wall, and that is a pretty frightening color of green, but we're hoping that when it dries, it's gonna be the right shade of green that'll key out properly in the chroma process. So here goes nothing. Yep, it's a fairly straightforward process. It's not complicated. The most complicated thing about this, of course, is trying to find the right shade of green that will key out. I think we are gonna need two coats on here. coverage that's going to give us a good key. Hey, how bad can it be, huh? So apparently it worked. We were able to chrome out the green pretty nicely. And uh, it looks like this is gonna be a, a good tool for us in our studio here at the Real United States Video Blog. So we hope you've enjoyed this small DIY on how to create a permanent green screen for just a few dollars in, uh, in your own home, if you so choose. Uh, we'd like to thank you for taking the time to, to join us today. And as always, we'd like to invite you to subscribe Join us for future episodes. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from all of you. We'll get back to you, all of you just as soon as we possibly can. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>